Hi, I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're going to explore FL Studio's interface. So when you open up FL Studio, you might have a different project loaded. I just recommend going up to File, New from Template, selecting Minimal, coming down to Empty to load up a completely blank project. Um, so at the top, you've got your various options for the project, where you'll find Play, Stop, a Record, and Tempo. Um, but what we're going to focus on is kind of the signal path in FL Studio, how you get some sounds going, what these different windows are, and yeah, so let's have a look. So basically, you want to go down to Packs to grab some any kind of drum signal. I'm just going to grab a hat in here, um, take maybe the 808, and then a kick. So we'll look at grabbing a 909 kick as well, just to show you a basic pattern. I'm just going to drop in some notes here. So you can right click on the, uh, the channels or the inserts in the channel rack. Um, right clicking here opens up this menu. You can come down, you can fill four steps or two steps or eight steps. Now, what this does is adds notes into the step sequencer, which is really useful for just quickly, get, quickly getting a beat in. So you can do that. And then you can also click here with left mouse button and right click to delete them. So quick and easy workflow for adding beats and quickly getting sound. So when you've got some sounds into the channel rack, you'll want to be able to route those into the mixer so you can control the different volumes of them. On the left-hand side of each of the channel inserts is the ability to pan it with this knob here and then the volume also. But to have more detailed control, you're going to want to route those into the mixer. Now, there's a few different ways of routing things into the mixer in FR Studio. Uh, the first option you've got is uh, scrolling this, this little number here. So you can select the, the number in which that channel is routed to. Um, you can, I recommend doing is clicking to open up the channel settings window here and then coming to this drop down and selecting route to free mixer track. Now what that does is it adds it to the mixer track but also renames the mixer track to that channel's name so that everything stays organized. If you've also got any coloring on your tracks then that also gets pulled through to the mixer as well. So, But then again there's another way that's just been updated in the latest version just hitting this track button down here underneath this little window actually sends it straight into the mixer track. So you don't need to come into a menu and you can just click, click on the track button and it signs it to the next free mixer track. So that's a really useful way of quickly assigning things into the mixer. So you can see now that we've added in four and six, the kick and the hi-hat into our mixer track. So the mixer works in FR Studio by, uh, you can press F9 to open up the mixer track or there is the option of clicking in the interface uh, on this button here to open up the mixer track. So if you, do, you don't see the mixer on your screen, you can, you can press F9, or you can click on this button here to bring it up. Um, it's resizable, so you can, you can double click on the header to make it bigger, uh, or make it smaller to fit your screen. So I'm just gonna put it back down there. But as we can see, now the tracks are loaded into the mixer and we've got full control over the volume or the pan uh, of any of these tracks. So the signal flow is pretty much described as coming from the channel rack through the mixer and then once you've created a pattern you can you can then lay that pattern down in the uh, in the playlist so the playlist is accessed by F, F, by hitting F5 or clicking this button up here um, so if you wanted to you see it as we're playing we're playing the track and it's playing the channel uh, or it's playing the channel rack and which is basically the pattern so now we're playing pattern one um, so if we wanted to move over and start playing the song and start changing the arrangement, you can click on this button here, uh, and that then moves the playhead over into the, into the song and the arrangement. And you can, you can start playing with your arrangement. So there's patterns on, on the playlist. Um, you can make these unique if you wanted to make any edits to them, which is probably the best way of doing this. So you can quickly right, uh, just click here and selecting the Make Unique option from this drop-down list which then creates a new instance or a clone of that pattern, if you like. And then you can make a different pattern in that. So we could just break the beat up a little bit. And then you can see it basically is a quick and easy way of getting, a, getting some variation and start building out those different sections of your track and arranging. So we're just going to bring in a new uh, snare here. So you can just click and drag to drop things into the channel rack pretty straightforward from the or your sample window, uh, you can add your own folders in there. So don't feel, you don't necessarily need to use the packs that come with FL Studio, you can easily add your own. But you can also hit on the middle mouse button. So you can see how I've got this selected with the green icon there, you can select the different channels. If you select a channel and you want to replace that sound, rather than dragging it in every time to replace it, you can just click your middle mouse button and it instantly replaces the sound. 
So let's just show you that real quick. Moving back into pattern here. So if I wanted to change that snare on the fly, I can just hit the middle mouse button and I can quickly flick through different samples, auditioning the different samples. So we're going to use like, keep the 808. Maybe we want to drop in some more. So I'm just going to drag that in. You can also right click and open a new channel to load it in. So you can quickly and easily see how you can build out patterns, multiple patterns to create them into a, a, a more advanced arrangement using the playlist window. So in this video, we've looked at a quick overview of FR Studio's interface. Uh, we've looked at how you can load some samples in, make a quick pattern, maybe make some amendments to that pattern to create more of an advanced arrangement and how to route things into the mixer. Now, hopefully this should get you started.